you tell me a little bit more about what you do? I am the international advisor of the mayor of Mexico City. I uh, represent uh, Mexico City in uh, World Fora and uh, uh, city networks like Metropolis. Now, you were involved in the peer review of the BRT system which we have in South Africa, but you have quite a successful BRT system in Mexico City. Tell me about yours. Uh, Mexico City established a, its BRT system um, six years ago and uh, we have a very l uh, large uh, network today with uh, almost 100 kilometers and uh, we uh, serve um, almost 200 million passengers since the beginning of, uh, of uh, the existence of, of our BRT. Uh, this is why we were uh, invited by Metropolis to share our experience with other cities, uh, notably uh, Joburg and Berlin and Lagos. So these past two days we participated in a very active uh, exchange of ideas and opinions and recommendations from a very critical but constructive point of view to see how the Riavaya BRT system in Joburg is working, how can it be improved, and we brought a lot of suggestions to, uh, to our um, uh, South African uh, uh, colleagues and we also uh, accepted a lot of uh, suggestions from them to improve our system. So this, this has been a very interesting work that we have been doing these past the, two days. The theme of the conference is uh, caring cities. And in terms of Mexico City, uh, one way towards you, in terms of how you've moved towards a caring city is to start talking about policy of disarmament in terms of firearms? Yes, uh, Mexico City has had a very uh, innovative approach uh, towards firearms. You know that today uh, some, in some parts of the world um, they are arming um, school uh, teachers and uh, even uh, uh, teaching students to protect themselves with firearms. And, um, and, and there is this notion that a firearm gives you security we think exactly the opposite. We think that a firearm is a source of insecurity and a source of potential violence in the city. So we have implemented a program called For Your Family Voluntary Disarmament, which aims at getting all these illegal aspire, small firearms off the streets. In just six months, we have uh, um, succeeded in taking 6,000 small we weapons from the streets. That's a lot. It's a lot, especially in contrast with, uh, with the record of uh, 5,000 in 10 years. In a decade there were 5,000 and in just six months we succeeded in 6,000. Why? Because our policy towards this problem is no longer uh, aimed at a police uh, focus. It's a social program. We are exchanging the firearms uh, for money, for uh, electronic appliances, for iPads or uh, tablets. We are also exchanging a belly, um, bellic toys, um, uh, like arrows and bows and pistols for constructive and educa ed educational toys. So it's our way of uh, promoting a culture of peace. And it's a very uh, social-oriented program. Uh, we, we talk to the family house uh, heads, the heads of households, uh, especially women, uh, and they convince their, their husbands or their friends or their family uh, uh, members to hand over the weapons. There is no questions asked. The weapons are destroyed. So this guarantees the complete anonymity of the person who is handing the, the And you get the something weapon. in return. You get something in return. And we have passed a, a, an agreement with the Catholic Church. Uh, Mexico is, a, is not a religious uh, country. We, we, we are a... a, a very clear separation between the state and the, and the church, but we do the exchange sessions in the atrium of the church, which gives the person bringing the firearm a lot of uh, trust. They think they are in neutral territory and they know that they will not be stopped by the police. Is it too early to say whether there's been a decrease in gun-related crime? It's only been six months. It's early to say this, but I think we have already a very good indication of what this has meant in, 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 as regards the perception of the population of what security is all about. So that's why I stress the fact that the program has, has aimed a social goal rather than just the violence. Of course the violence, uh, less, less guns on the streets means less possibility of uh, firearm uh, violence. But 
our way of constructing a, a, a peaceful uh, culture in our society uh, has, has, been, has been extremely successful. We have conducted more than 250,000 interviews on the families uh, that have uh, been uh, mobilized for the program and there is a very, very uh, good uh, uh, perception of how this can change our view of security in the city. Well, Eugene, thanks very much for the interview and especially talking to us about a subject that has specific significance here. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Okay.